Hi all, uh, today I will show you a function uh, goal seek. So in Excel, uh, if you go to data, you can find uh, what if analysis and here you can find goal seek. So first I will tell you what is our advantage of it. I think most of uh, structural engineers will be knowing this and uh, those who are, uh, are new to Excel and those who are learning for them it will be useful. Uh, let's say you have uh, equation where you want, want to equate it to certain value uh, and you will have a parameter where you want to uh, change it and control your result let's say in my case i have a pipe where the, uh, i need to find the thickness of the pipe so based on surcharge and various other load uh, weight of the soil and water pressure so here uh, this is the equation and here uh, this is the parameter where uh, thickness which i need to uh, limit within uh, um, like by changing the thickness i have to limit my permissible uh, stress in concrete to 4 uh, newton per mm square okay so here just uh, you are assumed as just numerical here this is this is where i have uh, this is the uh, my this is my final equation where i have uh, made it okay and then this and here i have segregated in a single cell okay so here this is where i have my formula which i'm highlighting in uh, blue color and green color is my input so we have one variable and another one where we have formula so we'll go to data and we'll go here what if analysis goal seek here first value is set cell set cell is nothing but the uh, cell where we have equation so you can remember where uh, we have a set e so this is for equation you can just for you can remember easily so here select this and then what value you want to equate it to so you can type 4 what value you have to change by changing what cell so i am changing this value okay and then run so it will start run and then it will equate to four okay so let's say here okay this is this is one so i'll show you again the set seven and four and this is by i have to change this value and then okay so now you can see it is started running and you can see here so it will equate to zero or equate to four or if you want to equate to less than that so that also you can do uh, for my condition here it should be less than or equal to okay so for that what i have done i have developed a small uh, program where the, uh, let's say if i want to do it let's say i will just click here so it goes incrementing from one to thousand and then here it will stop when it reaches less than four okay it stopped so this is the thickness which i have to use so i will show you the function as well like program sorry the program yeah here is the program so for writing any program we already know that you have to use the sub and then the program name and so automatically you will have uh, end sub so let's say if you have sub pro if you press enter the end sub will create automatically okay so that is the thing and then what i have is uh, integer i'm defining it as a uh, dim is integer so you can define it okay so int integer or whatever you want and then next what i have is a for loop so for loop which is ending with next so every for loop when you start you have to close with the next so here i will show you okay so let's say here it will start if you run here here it starts with the value one so here range f123 f123 it start incrementing the value in there and it will check here 127 where it will stop it will exit the form exit the program when it re when it is less than four so it will keep on increasing so if you see here 
increment 3 4 5 similar manner okay hope uh, this will be useful so you can try the program and uh, uh, I not lock the program so you can you can uh, go to developer and visual basic and here you can find module one you can find the program and you can change the value and you can try for your own thank you and also i'm keeping this excel sheet in video description and which you can download